And I'll start with Georgia, Georgia Tech and Miami, free college football pick for Saturday. Uh, Miami comes in here as a 20-point favorite against the Yellow Jackets right now. The Hurricanes uh, cruising along to a certain extent anyway. We're getting an easy matchup here. This is game number. Let me. Could have been talking about those other things and caught up here on some of this. 337 and 338. This one opened uh, 16 and a half when we were on the opening lines show on uh, Sunday. And, and this one has gone as high as uh, 20. Well, uh, this might be the, the high point. Now, I did see a 23, but that could have actually been a look ahead, I think, coming into this one. Um, but at 20 right now, I'm not sure that Miami is even going to be able to cover a 20 against a team like George Tech. Now, I do think that uh, Miami certainly, uh, you know, pretty strong. Of, they've covered uh, eight of their last 13 games. They've won 10 of their last 13 against George Tech, and they've won the last two. But uh, last year, remember the Canes, they were – uh, it was a little different last year. The Canes were actually a short underdog. They led 14-7, to 7, scored 21 straight points. And then the Georgia Tech came back with two touchdowns. Um, what was it? Um, the 21-point game. 21-point game is what it uh, turned out to be. So let's see. Uh, Georgia Tech, they – Lost that game to Bowling Green, and they were Georgia Tech was twenty-one point favorites in that game. They came, they they didn't look good, that's for sure. So uh, that's definitely a stunner here. Miami has been just terrific, certainly. And Van Dyke, uh, what can you say? I think uh, pretty good form, but man, the Georgia Tech that was such a dismal performance. I think Tech is the type of team that. Uh, rebounds for a more mistake-free performance. I don't know if they can um, – I, I think they're going to get the number. I'm going to be on Georgia Tech here at 20 points. Hope it goes up a little bit. Uh, maybe it will. I wish it was 23. We all want more points. Hey, you guys are all over this one. Let's see what you guys have. I have a feeling you guys are going to be in Miami to crush here. Did I miss a ton of comments? Hold on here. Oh, thank you for Nathan. There's some picks there. Talking about the uh, Bears. <laughs> I was on the right. Uh, I was uh, on the Bears last night. I felt like pretty alone out there. But um, I think more just you know when bad teams meet. I mean, uh, and, you know, I'm that guy. I am going to be more contrarian than mo maybe that's why I'm able to get some of these wins uh, that. Puts me, I don't know, that I, like I want to be a handicapper or something on YouTube. So, um, oh, right. Thomas says, first time seeing Miami here. Nathan says he wants to lay the points in the first half with the Canes. Solo says lay the lumber with 20. Uh, Terrell says Miami comes out blowing them out early. So you guys, obviously, this is a, a Miami first half play for the chat. It feels like to me, I'm on. I'm taking 20 points. I think Miami is just not disciplined enough. I think they uh, win this game. They probably win it with a high scoring game, and they just keep giving up some, you know, touchdown. Look, Georgia Tech, they're, you know. Nothing special, and they're still trying to you know, figure things out. But I just don't think they're as bad as what we saw uh, in that game last week. And I just would rather take 20 points against Miami. Um, they don't feel like a team that, that covers. And, you know, uh, Georgia Tech's been pretty good as an underdog of late for sure. 
Um, they covered their last road game by two, well, more than two touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. And that was in a in a big loss. So, and Miami, uh, you know, they've been they've been bad against the spread. Let's face it. They didn't cover. They covered what one number last year, right? So, but three. I get it. Three and zero this year. Um, you know, against the spread by big margin, no doubt about it. This is a different Miami. It feels like a little bit, but I feel like once you get up into these ranges, now we're in conference games. To me, that's when I want to kind of come back on tech. You know. Two touchdown game, game ends up in the 60s. You end up with, uh, you know, something where it's, uh, you know, 41 to 24 or something of this nature. So I'm going to take Georgia Tech and, uh, you know, I'm going to have a premium here in this game for sure. Uh, total down to 57. It opened 58 and a half, went as high as 61. And now we're dealing with a 57. I thought Miami, what, what happened? I thought Miami's going to come out firing. Why is this total going down? Anyways, I don't think it should go, go down too much. And I'm going to – it is juice to the over. So <laughs> I got to Daryl. <laughs> no, that'd be, that would be something. Yeah, they could you – know, they, they could, it could be a stunner tonight. Tech's a great bounce-back team, there's no doubt. 